Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're all very welcome to the latest edition of Blogging Warfare. This is an extra special one, but I guess we say that every single week because they generally are. And uh, well, what I'd like to say is hello to our ever-expanding global audience. And with that, we have quite a, a global uh, lineup here. I'm based in Spain, but we have a, a man who I'll introduce in a second who you all know, but I have my co-host, uh, Mr. Thomas Hanna. Thomas, please say hello. And uh, where are you based? Hey folks, uh, good to see you here. I am excited to really jump in with uh, this week here on uh, Blogging Warfare. Um, I am with Blog Photo TV, um, and but I'm super excited to have this guy on with us because he's been a huge influence on uh, my development, my learning about Google Plus, and how to incorporate with all of that. So I'm going to point this right back over to introducing uh, Martin Shervington, the man, the legend of uh, Google Plus. What an intro! What an intro! Hello, hello everyone. I don't know if I warranted that intro. I, I, I'm in Brazil. You can talk about that, can we? Say that. Just to I think we'll probably mention that, given that we're, we're talking about going global, global, going global with Google Plus. So how did you get? How did you wind up in Brazil, Martin? I don't, so I was I did some work in Sao Paulo for a couple of days, and that was including well, it was around marketing, sales marketing, and Google Plus. And I decided that there's worse places to be. I'm actually at a hotel right now, so which is why I've got kids jumping in the pool and probably some questionable music going on. And <laughs> this technology allows me to base myself anywhere. So I'm working, everybody. This isn't a holiday. I always feel like Ricky Gervais on the on on the uh, the idiot abroad. I don't know if you've seen that when he when he, he keeps on saying uh, <laughs> to Carl Pilkington, it's it's not a holiday. You go, that's exactly this. It's it's it, you know, it's, and by the beach, it's lovely. I get the occasional surfing. Oh, we've got the Quicksilver Championships coming up. We've got Monday. Anyway, so it's kind of come some cool things happening, but this is another place for me to be focused on plus your business, to be working with the team, and I can tell you all the different bits, if you want the different bits of technology that we use, and it doesn't really matter where in the world I am, except for one thing, fish tacos, I miss fish tacos in San Diego, no, not the fish tacos, it, it, <laughs> conference. conferences is the one thing that I feel I'm missing out on by being at, what, the size of that cup, Thomas? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh, um, this is yes. This is I. I want the strength of that, but yeah, this is this is my not, my not swimming up. pool as well. When he puts that up beside his face, we call it the ultimate mug shot. But anyway, very good, very good, very good punster. There mm -hmm. you go. Um, so you can do just about everything. I, I know we can run through the different bits of tech and how we're using it, how we're working with it, within the, the the communities, and that's great. I think that we're proving that it can work. Now, I am going to go back to the states next year. Everybody, I'm going to be back in San Diego. I'm speaking at the conference, uh, Social Media Marketing World Conference, in March, and I may well head back a little bit earlier. Oh, so there we go. Hey, listen, Robert, you don't need to meet yourself, man. I've got kids jumping in the pool behind. Well, what that actually, I, I don't know if people are aware, but there's a, a game on at the moment called El Clasico, which is Real right. Madrid versus Barcelona, and as I'm currently in in Madrid, uh, yeah, so yeah. I take Crazy. it Real Madrid must have scored. So that's what was all the shouting in the background there. But anyway, so one of the questions, well, first thing to our ever-expanding global audience, if you guys have any questions that you'd like us to put to Martin, please chime in and leave them uh, leave them in the, the event thread as we have common track open here. So we're, we're monitoring any questions you have. We'll re relay them on to the, to the man of the moment. But Martin, before, I suppose, how can we start this off or where should we start it off? Because you've been, I suppose, you're, at least to me, hey, you're one of the, the you know, the most well-known people on Google+. Do you ever... Feel any pressure as a result of that? Would you say, given that you're so you know, ubiquitous with I, Google I, Plus, I plus your business, working. plus your life? No, I mean, any pressure? You always, you. Always, I mean, I pressure myself to do the best job that I can, and mm. and that's my and and that's something I have to kind of like manage within myself because you just do your best. And like today, I've written about two articles, and I've got a, a video, and I and I, you know, it's a weekend. I'm still push, push, push because I know there's a lot of things that need to be done. So any pressure is always internal. You know, everybody else, I mean, that's the lovely thing about the community, is that people appreciate what you do. Mm. And that's the, the reward that you get directly in, in the broader sense there. But also, what we're doing is, is structuring a business using Google Plus communities. And it takes time, and it takes a lot of effort and energy, and, and the team's working their socks off, and you know, so many amazing people involved, that 
the, the only pressure is can you do, can, you know, are you still doing a good job? And you just keep on going. So when I put the, the post out about polls, you know, I sat there at 6 o'clock in the morning and made sure that I, I did all the screenshots and I wrote the text because I felt that it was necessary for Plus Your Business to have that. And that's a little bit of pressure, but I actually like doing them. I like putting those guys together and things, and then they, they hang around for a long time. So no, I mean, do you know what? I've said this before, and everybody who knows me well, the numbers matter, but they don't. So when people get distracted by the chasing of the numbers, they, they do matter because other people look at them and they're part of a story. But the reality is that it's the relationships that matter, and for us, it's the community and building the relationships. And I mean, come on to this, it, delivering results. That's what. That's where. That's the phase we're in very much now is that there's many of us that get on, and that's great. And as you know, with Plus Your Business, and you're both in, in, in the academy, what we're looking at is let's give the case studies to show exactly what we can be doing and what we can be doing with other people as well as what we're doing well for ourselves. And I think that, that that's, that's the next phase, really, certainly for us, is to tell that story slightly better so that more people, and I'll tell you a story about Brazil in a sec, that more people come and go, do you know what? I can see a direct result between me spending time and activity, taking my blog content, building the community of people around it, it amplifying it, surfacing in search, both personalized and beyond and global incognito. And I then see people that visit my site, and then I remarket to them time and time again, and they convert to an inquiry, a, a sign up, a, 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 a sale, what have you. And that's really what we're working on, just so that everybody can go, oh, right. So I start here. And that's the journey, and that's how it works, and that will take three months to nine months, or, or and being very realistic. And I think that's the that that that's exciting because then we can start to scale considerably because we're going to be able to help more and more people know then knowing what works and let me say what doesn't. So let me tell you about this, about Brazil. Last night, I I'm in a village right now, and the village is called Marazias, and I decided, in fact, the night before I took somebody's iPad, and you've got to realize I'm, you know, everything's Android for me now, so I took somebody's iPad, and I was like, Let, let's find your Google Plus account, so I, I picked it up, and this is a really useful experience, I picked it up, and it said, log into Google Plus, and I logged in via Chrome, I was like, this is a bit weird, and it said, get the app, and it's all in Portuguese, right, so I'm going to get the app, so we down, then we download the app, and he has to put in the details, and then we get the app on there, right, now, right, then we get in, and he's got... You know, two followers, he's got the, the blue hair bit, etc. And I say, okay, well, where's your page? And he said, oh, I haven't got a page. Okay, right. So we then go and I explore what is going on when I put in the keywords for his restaurant, which is called Summertime uh, in Marazias. And he brings his Facebook page up. Okay, you haven't got a page. Right, fine. But you're not on the map either. So I said, look, I just need to sit down and just figure out exactly what's going on for you. And I'm going to do the same thing for about four businesses. This is the starting point, and I don't think this is uncommon. I go around to the other businesses. Some people have pages, and they're not linked, and they've been lost. And then, in fact, the guys here, they don't have access to it. And I'm like, oh, that's a pain. Other people, again, they're not on the map. And I'm just seeing the same sort of thing. What you need is a person to go and sort out all of that initial get the wheels on the car stuff for, the, for these businesses. Get them on the map. Get their pages there. Forget about trying to build up content and so on and so on. Just get the first stage done. Now, I've talked about neighborhoods for, for a while. And the reality is it's going to take three years to get to a point to, to do it. And it's not the most fun <laughs> process. It's the, it's the detailed challenge. And then you think, oh, I'm going to have to get in touch with the help for, or the, or, uh, with the uh, Google Plus My Business Forum because we need to do that. That's what you have to do. And I think that it's just, we're in a phase of being very realistic. We, we're global. We're able to do this. But a lot of people have got a lot of catching up to do. To, to get, for instance, what's the benefit? And this is what really solved them. I said, do you want to see your pictures when you people put in for restaurant or bar or you? Do you want to see that and have your stars? And they're like, yes, get me now. And it's like, all right, so you see the benefit. But the process is a lot of detailed untangling. But that's what has to happen. And how do you recommend people go about actually untangling it? Is there any person you recommend or any site? Or do you know or? what? As it happens, Robert, it wasn't. <laughs> Drum roll. Robert, no, no, no. I wasn't, you know, I was gonna, I, I'm not, not even going to go that self-promotional. Robert and I did an infographic 
And if you search for Google Plus Consultant, I think, and I think it's incognito, you'll see there's about 20 points on that infographic. And it runs through all of the, 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 the this is what you need to do with your YouTube, this is what you need to do. That is a really good starting point for people. And in fact, we're including it as a business service as well. But that is a great start. So if you want to give a link to that, it was a lovely infographic. It's got rockets on it as well. That was one of the first, if not the first, rocket, Robert Ryan. Oh, yeah? We started yeah. a rocket revolution, eh? And then look at it now. With Dustin's help, we're, we're, you know, we've got the five rockets in the academy. But yeah, that's the start. And also, if, 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 on Plus Your Business, what we're, what we're trying to do, and I think we're doing a reasonable job, is uh, be a resource center. So if you search for anything in the site, like, I've got two duplicate pages. What do I do? I'm tr doing my best to be thinking like the problem mm -hmm. haver, and then we're the solver. So I'm I'm trying to think like search in a bit, which is you know I have two duplicate pages. How do I delete one? I found you know things like this, and hopefully that should surface the right content on the the site. So that's the starting point. But yeah. Sure. You know, it kind of blows me away, uh, Martin, when I look at the things that you're doing, and a lot of times um, we think about how that impacts us locally, uh, but you have actually taken this to such a, a global level. I, I, I mean, for one thing, the connectivity that's available on Google Plus uh, is a little staggering. When you think even just in terms of yeah. the hang, hangout right here, we have me, I, I'm sitting here conversing with you guys from Florida, uh, Robert's over in Madrid, you're in Brazil, so we have this global panel that's sitting here having this conversation. But you've also, you, you just left California where you were um, putting together uh, a lot of the stuff with the Plus Your Business um, and some incredible projects you had going on there. I know you've been uh, flown in places by I think Toyota. I remember seeing uh, seeing a talk that oh, you gave nice that, yeah. that was pretty pretty remarkable. I know that you um, you li actually live in Wales, <laughs> hmm. and currently you're in Brazil. And so you've been doing business stuff tied to Google Plus all over the world. So what do you think um, for those of us that are enjoying the community, that are looking at the connectivity, what do you think, how do you think we can be able to expand the way that we're doing things to be able to connect with people in a broader way than I think maybe we have traditionally thought about doing? Uh, let me answer. For, um, let me see if I can come round to your answer, Thomas. But I, I, I'm going to start because it's, 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 it's almost not to start there. Is, is is my view, and it's actually to allow the relationships that you form mm -hmm. to determine what happens next, to some extent. And let me explain how I ended up in San Diego. I, I, I've lived in San Francisco before, and I went to comedy college in San Francisco. So that, I've got a, a relationship with that city. And I've got friends there. But San Diego, even though I've been there before, and I love fish tacos. Not as much as curry, by the way. But anyway, the, the person <laughs> who beer. is my buddy and his wife, John Settles, is, is, is now doing a lot with Plus Your Business. He was a contact from David C.M. Carter, who's called The Mentor, who's, uh, if you look for a book called Breakthrough, I interviewed him. He came via a contact, I interviewed him on the Hangout on Air on Google+. Plus. He came via a contact called Jane Packer. Jane came from a contact, well, not a contact, a, a friend, Thomas Power. Jane's a friend as well, I, I, Thomas Power, who I met on Google+, Plus two and a half years ago. So we've got this Thomas Power to Jane, to, to David, to John Settles, who I stayed in his house for, for, for three months, and he's, I now say he's one of my, my best friends in the world. And... Then we go to, okay, well, what's actually the theme going on? What's the concept? How can people utilize this? And it's about allowing the relationships to create the things that happen next. Mm. As opposed to a saying, I know what you need and I know what I need from you. And saying that's a tr very much a transaction. It's saying, what can we do? I, mean, I use Robert as an example. It's on the infographic. It's just like, hey, should we do something? And we did the same thing with Mervic Home, did the thing with, with, with Earth. Ahmed as well, and so many different things. Now, when you can do that and focus on the relationships, opportunities happen. Now, a few relationships that 
on school or on, you're not able to gather. I have to say this is the thing. I've been very fortunate that just seems, I didn't know this work. And the technology allows that because we've got Google Drive, you can work in together, punch through the noise. You then go, okay, well, YouTube quick videos that you want to make and pass to the team for Hangouts, video call. It all just allows the relationships and the, and the information to flow between people. So that's what I would start on. And let's say, and if people want to, to travel, find people in countries that you want to visit, build relationships, but find a reason for, for them to want to be part of your life. And as I say, none of it's because being, being forced. Uh, and and, and it, it's just happened because I've taken the opportunity each time. So as I, the, the connection with David C. M. Carter, having just actually there's one a little let, let's say lesson. I mean it's something I learned. David was going to be a client, and I spent about 45 minutes doing that untangling bit, or oh, in this you know accounts and all that sort of thing. And I said to him at the end, I said, listen, I'm not going to charge you, David. I value the relationship, and I, I really want you know this going forward. And I said, you have a network, being open. He said, you're going to San Diego um, in a couple of weeks, aren't you? I said, yeah. He says, phone this guy. Literally phone. And I was like, I'm not just phoning one of your mates. It's phone him. Phone him now. Hmm. And I phoned him. And John turns around and goes, yeah, dude. Dude. By the big. And he goes, come on. You're good. Come. I was like, this is great. And it's been like that. So, you know, I think you've got to be open to the opportunity. And actually, even you know, say even here, but here, the same sort of stuff's happening. Somebody lunchtime just goes, to, well, do you want to, um, I only use the flat this, the, you know, during these particular times. Do you want to, do you want to stay? And I'm like, people, when you just spend time and you listen and you just allow things to happen, then sometimes, sometimes the universe is on your side. Mm. Well, that's one thing I kind of noticed as well. And I think it was Ran Fishkin who might have coined the phrase that it's like the Google Plus in particular is like the serendipity machine, you know. The more good stuff you put into it, the more good stuff that you'll get coming back. It and it's definitely what I've noticed because I've had the pleasure of yeah. doing an infographic with you, Martin, you know? So it's all those little things that can kind of help gain a bit of momentum. But you can't track and you can't equate one thing to one action that you've done. So you kind of have to, not a, not a scattered approach, but you have to be kind of always focusing on what you want to try to achieve, but keep trying and trying and trying for it to, to work. But I mean, actually, if we could pull up a yeah. question here because it's actually a good one and it might... Uh, Focus the minds to see what one of your top tips are. I'll pull it up on the screen. This is from Carry On Foster. So, Martin, aside from engagement, what is a tip you can give us to gain the attention from influencers in our niche? Um, actually, genuinely want the relationship with people, hmm. and not because they're an engager for whatever. You know, so, they're an influencer. Is if I look at the relationship that I have with Mark Tragan, Lee Smallwood, Danny LaBelle, David Amland, Ronnie Bincer, and those are the people that, 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 I, that we've teamed up, essentially. It's like the, the it's nice table. We get, yeah, well, and we get on, you know, and it just happens that we get on. Now, I turned up, I arrived on the 6th of March 2012. I did you know, maybe one or two posts before, but I didn't really arrive on Google for 6th of March. So I turned up, and there's already a dynamic and a flow, and, and it happened that I gravitated over a period of time towards that group. And it, it's because it works. So I think that the thing, carry on, is find the people that you relate to. Find the people that you, you look at. Do you know what? I'd like, to, I'd like to go and either sit in a coffee shop or have a beer or have a meal, and I'd like to spend time. Now, it just happens that it doesn't quite work like that on here very often. It's very much, um, particularly if you, you know, what, what, no, for me, right now, I am interested in building relationships that are focused around plus your business. That's the, I'm very open, that's the main force of my time. And I was going to say thrust, but it sounds too rockety. I was going to say thrust. Um, plus your life will come back, and that will be the other side, and that's the, the sort of leadership and very much sort of heart-centered stuff, which Chris Brogan's very much into at the moment, was into, very much writing about and, uh, and supporting people to go through. But it's people that relate to that, and other people will have other things that they relate to, and it's going along with that. So I'd almost, I think there's a, a degree of targeting that happens in the early days, and you think that by somebody adding you back into their circles, that your Google Plus experience is somehow going to go magic, and, and so it won't because it's about relationships. It's just that's a tiny symbolic gesture, 
really, that, that, that somebody's added you back in, they may see your content, doesn't mean they're going to engage on it, you know. And I think it's just have a genuine interest in people. You're getting waffly answers. It's about 40 degrees here. Uh, have you seen the size of the water? I, I can't, I, this is, I've now graduated from the, the, the these are the six litre bottles every day and a half. Anyway. It's putting uh, Thomas's mug in the haven place there. Yeah. And I'll tell you, Martin, um, that was the biggest lesson that I that I learned from you that really marked a significant shift in the way that I did social media and the way that I did everything was the movement from a transactional mindset to a um, to a relationship oriented. Uh, perspective, and so I stopped into that that shifting from focusing on trying to go so wide and and broadcasting to actually spending t time enjoying people, connecting with people, and connecting around the topics that you're that you're focused on, but really making and connecting those relationships. That was, I think, probably the biggest lesson uh, that I learned from you. That probably had the greatest impact on me. So I just wanted to. Uh, reaffirm what you were saying there in, in response to Carrie Ann. And, and, and I think it's about nurturing. And thanks, Thomas. I mean, we, we've spoken on that before. And it's knowing that if somebody plus ones, you can say thank you. And it's a very low level. Of, of, and, and, and you're kind of going, oh, I'm dragging it back into a comment in order to start a conversation. But then you start to find things in common. And then you start to connect between subjects. And you start to call people in. Hey, you might like this. And when it works, they go, wow, you thanks so much for telling me. I would have missed this otherwise. Then you started to build the, the connections. And I'm going to tell you, the nicest time in terms of relational time within on threads, often up until about 10,000 people following you. And I just, the numbers are they important, but they're not. Yeah, because you put more effort in, and you're there and present. Mm. And I know my, my, my slight disclaimer, some people go, you know, sometimes you don't reply to all the comments. It's just, it, 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 I can't, you can't, you can't do it. So the relationships that are already formed, they're all kind of secure, and you, you know, it's great. And the new relationships, it's hard. So it goes back to Carrie Ann's point about getting people's attention. It's very hard to reply to everybody all of the time and keep building the relationship because if you're doing that, you're attending, but you're not doing something else. You're building relationships, but you're not, and you're talking about a video or a blog post or something, but you're not creating content, you're not building team, you're not doing sales. Not, so I think there's a lovely time in, in the early stages, even though it's tough when people are starting out. Mm. It's, it's really where you find the people that you connect with. And, Hangouts are, are a jump, a, a way of leapfrogging that as a problem. Getting face to face, it particularly when we're doing this in the level one community now, of just people saying, "Listen, come and just say hello, come and ask me a question, and I'm accessible, and you got that there, and you got my time for 30 minutes or you know twice a week, and it gets me around feeling that I can't write. I, I, you know, it, 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 I used to, I used to reply to everyone. Yeah, you know, it, it's priorities. Nobody can. It's never time, everybody. It's never time. We all have the same amount of priorities, and the priorities are a broader one than a specific thread. Anyway, so it is hot here, isn't it? You're getting me super rambly. It's all right. But on that, it's, it's almost like a double-edged sword. Do you feel a little bit of, or would you be kind of concerned that if if the trend continues, whereby you say that you know, as your numbers continue as well, you can't go as deep as Thomas would say with <coughs> with the relationships with all people? Are you ever concerned that you know you might lose some momentum that was gained by you know generating such good relationships with people? That, Whilst you had the time in the first ten thousand. No, I, mean, I think I've got I've gone through that really, mm -hmm. and I think that now because of the different levels within the academy, I know that I stay connected to the people that are moving through and the conversations there. Also, I have hangouts, little uh, text-based hangouts, going with different groups, and so I have conversations which are there. So I don't. I, I know that if you post and run, then. People go, well, why am I leaving a comment if you're not actually going to reply? If, you, if all I get is a plus one back. Right? And yet I know certain people will do that because they're just lovely people. And they know that you know, they can just ping me an email, they can just send me, and they'll always have my attention. And I do like the good one. I enjoy that because it means I start my day and I say, hey, who's there that's to say hello? That's, it's like walking down the street. Hey, how are you doing? That's great. It's just knowing it's hard to build a relationship where somebody just is, is attending elsewhere. And I'm always, pretty much always, on Google+. 
I dive into Facebook, pick up my messages, look a little bit, and then come back. I'm on Twitter. I, I, I go in and, and I have somebody managing my Twitter account. I'm the one that's always replying, and I'm always the one that, that has the, the I star things. What do you call it? You know, favorite. Um, but, but otherwise, I'm on Google Plus, so people can have my. If you plus mention, if you plus mention my well plus name plus mention me into a thread, I will get a notification. In fact, I get people. I will get an, I'll get an email, and pretty much all the time, I will go and check it out. Whether I reply or plus or whatever, that depends on the content. But if anyone wants my attention, that's what you do. It's just knowing that you have to have. It's, if somebody pushes me into something, which is about the singularity or about the you know, psychology of that, then it's quite likely it's going to pique my interest. And I go, ah, okay, and I'm going to then engage if I have the, the the time in that moment to go and read that blog post or to watch that video. Then we gain another connection because, it, oh, right, you're into this. That's great. But if somebody pushes you into a cat gif. It's like, well, is that where you want my attention to be? Is that how you want to be taken the next stage of our conversation? Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, it's Cata Day. We all love Cata Day. But it's whether there's a, a there's something more that we could connect on or relate about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one other question I have, because yeah. as you might have seen, that this is called Blogging Warfare. This show is called Blogging Warfare. And one thing that I found interesting is it seems like Google Plus and blogging seem to have quite an overlap between them. What are your thoughts on that? And is Google Plus a potential blogging platform in and of itself? Lovely question. How rushed are we at the end? OK, I'll, let's see if I can tell you. I started blogging on Google Plus. I didn't launch martinshivington.com, even though it existed. I didn't launch it until after Google Plus. Every blog post, as we know, it, so every Google Plus post is a mini blog post in its own right. It has its own URL, has its title, you can add an image to it, and so on. I started, I kindled, very much as Thomas was saying, and I, I started on Google Plus with 20 people following me. And, and let's be very open about this. I built it up to 30,000 people following before I got put on a list by Google, and then my numbers started to go up more. But I built to 30,000. So that's my experience. I know what it's like to get to that point. In terms of, and, then, and then it gets more straightforward. I think most people will, will find that you, you become established. Right. So how did I start? I put out content and was, was incredibly fortunate that Susan Ramharter, that John Keldon, uh, Thomas Morfu, and, and a list of people basically reinforced that my view is actually something that they didn't mind seeing, if not liked seeing. Why don't you do a bit more of it? And I think that's where the culture and where the support comes in. It's just this is really positive. And I mean, it's changed over the time and it's developed, but I was allowed to put out my view. And people were, and that was within Google. So, and the reason within is that there was no emotional risk of going off to the site or people feeling that I, they're asking them to sign up to a newsletter or to, to sell or to contact. It was just, I value your engagement here and now and the conversations and the threads and the comments. Right, that's how I started. Then, after a period of time, I moved to martinshivington.com and built that up, and I've done a lot of Google Plus content and so on. And then, it was only last September, year last September, 2030, that Plus Your Business started, and then I was blogging or creating articles or things on that. The community had launched six months earlier than that, and I'd launched Plus Your Life six months before that. So it's all step-by-step -step blogging is the thing that allows a degree of freshness. It means there's a connection and, and the sign-ups to Quickstarter and the sign-ups and the relationship with people on Google Plus who are signed up on the site or going and accessing that content. That matters. That really matters. And I think moving forward with business, the relationship is, is it becomes deeper. I'm being asked if I would like some, yeah, uh, Sam, uh, obrigado. Would I like some mosquito spray around mm. The answer to that is always yes. Always. There is no no when somebody turns up with a giant mosquito spray bottle. Even if you want to hang out on air, you say Definitely. yes, yes, please. Yes. In bad Portuguese. So, so I think that the starting the point, they, they're brutal. They like the Welsh, I can tell you. Uh, the mosquitoes. So I think that there's a lot of value to put in relationships first. Now, I'm going to tell you an extra bit. It ain't quick. This is not a quick thing. 
And so if anybody turns up and just goes, I've got a new blog post, everybody should read it, and then I, it's, all, it's like it will take a thousand things, and I don't know if it's a hundred or fifty or ten or twenty thousand, but it, I believe it's probably nearer a thousand than not, of, of things, whatever the things are, whether it's interactions or hangouts on air, or that, to become that next thing that you're seeking to become. And for us, what we're doing is creating a community and an agency, and the training academy is, is what goes throughout. It takes a lot. So I think not rushing and allowing the relationships to form naturally is, is a good thing. But it's, it's my experience. I would agree. And unbelievably, we've actually run out of time. I can hear my little alarm clock going and saying, Rob, this is now the time to let part and go back to the swimming pool and escape the mosquitoes. <laughs> so on that part, is where can people find you online if they don't already know? Pleasureofbusiness.com is where the website is. There's lo the, the blog has got a lot of content. I'm still blogging. I've got myself, so check out that. And you'll find me on Twitter, Martin Sherv. I'm always Martin Sherv or Martin Shervington. That's where you find me, and you find me on Google+. Plus. So. Good name, good name. And Thomas? Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, love any opportunity I get to pick your brain, Martin, so I'm so thankful that you came on here. Um, uh, folks, as with the Blog Photo TV stuff, we still have some slots open for the course beginning in November, so uh, feel free to check in with me on that. That's at blogphoto.tv, and make sure that you drop some comments here um, and, and plug in with what Martin is doing with Plus Your Business. I've come through it. Um, I think Robert has come through it, and that's had a huge impact on me and on uh, my awareness and ability to leverage uh, Google Plus, so I really recommend you guys check in on that. And I'm going to come on to the comment thread now. So if anyone has questions, I'm going to can spend some time and come and see you all. Mm -hmm. And anyway, I'm Rob from robertryan.ie, and I hope I didn't come across too much as a, a gushing fanboy for Mark and his plus your business, plus your life uh, escapades, because he really is one of the thought leaders, the main people on Google+. Plus. So we really are fortunate here in the Blogging Warfare team to have Mark and I here for 30 minutes to join us. And we're also going to be fortunate next week when we have another guest star on, and we're going to have... Can we, can we say it, Thomas? Yes, we'll say it. We're going to yeah. have Dustin Stealth on next week. So if you're interested in tuning in then, we would love to have you. Any questions or comments, please leave them in a thread, and I think uh, the main man, Martin, will, will, will be happy to answer them. Until next I week, will. we'll see you all. Take care. See Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye.